expert. Yeah, so Emily has helped carve these, what do you call them? Fumpkins? Funkins. Funkins, mm -hmm. because they're obviously made out of foam. And the reason that they do that is so that they can work on these over the summertime to have them ready for the event. So most people will not be carving in a funkin. They'll be carving in a regular pumpkin. What tips do you have for people who might be picking out their pumpkins and then taking them home and getting ready to carve them? I would say honestly, unless you're really ambitious, stay away from letters because that will frustrate you and they will just punch all the way through. Okay. So stick with simple images, stick with like big circles, big shapes, and then just getting traditional tools you can get at the store and just working nice and slow. Don't try to rush it. A lot of people don't realize that they can print out these stencils um, online if they go and they can kind of search through and find something easy. If you're not that great at carving just yet, what are you looking for? Like a lot of um, space that's not covered? Yeah, you would definitely want to go with something that's much simpler, something that doesn't have as much detail, and then if you keep practicing, you can work your way up to those really fancy designs that you can get in little, little packets. Okay, yeah, because you are very good, so you can do stuff like that. Now, we have started, and by we, I mean, I'm using the royal we. That's Emily, okay? I had no, no part in this at all. I'm terrible. But you've already started um, getting this with the Good Day logo, and you're going to kind of finish working on that right now. So I'm going to let you kind of work on that. And then, Brady, let's talk about what this event is, because 3,000 thousand pumpkins yeah, that are going to be carved that people have the chance to see and this is going to be at night right so they'll mm -hmm. just look mm -hmm. beautiful um, with oh, the yeah. light shining through them yeah. where's this happening so it's happening at the Auburn Gold Country Fairgrounds um, and it's starting uh, this Friday on October 13th so Friday the 13th yeah and goes all the way through the 29th from it's on Sunday through Fridays or Sunday through Thursday sorry from 6 30 to 10 30 and then on Friday and Saturday it's 6 30 to midnight so no this is a family friendly event or are there going to be like ghouls and ghosts like jumping out at me oh you know family family friendly definitely uh if you want to come dressed up yeah go ahead okay. you look cool and everything just yeah. keep the props at home the kids so always need a reason to dress up yeah. as many times as possible yeah. so they can get out their halloween costume yeah. come dressed up will they have a chance to do any trick-or-treating there uh not trick-or-treating but you know they can definitely walk around ride some of the little bikes if they're young, young enough and okay. everything they get to walk around a maze that's what that we made for them it's it's a little tough, but it's it's fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, there'll be yeah, you know what? We'll have some candy around. There's gonna be a store to get some clothes and have some gear for the next year. Yeah. So yeah. Pumpkin nights, nice. you got to represent. Okay, yeah. so Emily working hard on this. And you can see how difficult this is now. I really put her to the test, Kinsey, <laughs> because I wanted a pumpkin of you. Oh Lord Jesus. This is you <laughs> oh, God. as a cat. <laughs> <laughs> meow. I think that's yep. beautiful. Thank you, you so much. You have to start meowing. Meow. I yeah. think, yeah. No, this is I... starting uh, this Friday if you want to come out and check this out. 3,000 pumpkins glowing beautifully with a lot of skills that Brady and I don't have, but thank goodness Emily does. <laughs> Are you a good pumpkin carver? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Emily's either. got it all. Emily's, Emily, got it all. Emily's, the ta Emily's the talent, and we're just here to get the info out. <laughs> I love it. Thanks so much, Emily. All right, having plant problems? No 